could review Michelob Golden Light in 16 ounce silos. <laughs> I'm good with that too. All night long. <laughs> All night long. Mm, yeah. Mm. I'm in a shotgun mood today. Blowing heads off since 1954. So, so you see how uh, you get, you, now that we're here, you get center stage on uh, artillery. I guess. I don't know, it's pretty far to reach though. It makes my left not hurt. Uh, I mean, Alice is here. Well, the fuck? I have to bring some gun on. I was going to bring the Nelly out, but I don't want you to you, touch that. You should just put that in my car. <laughs> Northern storage. I'd be happy to... Do you do, 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 do the opener thing? Hey, man. My, my, Hold on, let me open my beer. Multi-tool open, multi-tool open, multi -tool open. Okay, me. Yeah, but my lighter doesn't have a... True. A really, I suppose, maybe? See, it doesn't have a good... No, just no. Okay, Jeremy? Well, I'm glad you have uh, have never had this before ever, Eric, and you've never ever reviewed it in the past in some other channel. That's good. Vanilla Porter from Breckenridge. Yeah. Let's see, it was 5%. Oh, yeah, it was 5.2, I think. 5.4. Five, five, four. Four. So it's yeah. just your average porter. Technically speaking, I have not reviewed this. Mm. This isn't a bottle. Well, and uh, it smells like a fucking dirty old. I think I gave it a five and a half. Damn it! Look, for my grandpa's poop. Yeah, probably is. <laughs> Cheer, cheers to that. <laughs> oh, it smells like a porter. That's not even worth a chug. I think I gave this like a five or a five and a half. So, vanilla? You definitely get the vanilla. At the end though, kind yeah. of, at the kind of smooth in with a little on your tongue. <laughs> yeah, no, I. it's funny because the Fairmount Liquor Store, it's like IPA, 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 and it's just like a fucking section like this, and then it's like stout, Porter, and I was so. Have you ever had uh, Shell's Fire Brick? I think so. Okay, you never reviewed it though, or may I have? I don't know. I actually liked Fire Brick, but I didn't want to get some. Well, I got that, but I don't know. You had Modelo. Have you had regular Modelo with the gold gold leaf around the top? Excuse us while we have a conversation. Yeah, just mind your own business. Just fuck off. <clears throat> you know, I don't know. I know there's been many beers, I just... See, this is the other problem I have. First of all, there's alcohol involved. Second, I'm at the liquor store going, that looks awesome. And then when I, when I go to add the image of it, I realize that they've changed all of their artwork, and I reviewed this three years ago oh. when it looked completely different. Nobody cares anyway. They yeah. come here for you. Yeah. He's never had soul. We I, should do. I, I, I don't even have one. We should, <laughs> we should do full, uh, soul forty ounces tomorrow. You like big cans, but they're not cans; they're bottles. Big jugs of I like, beer. I like big jugs. Good, good. Well, your palate's been fucking super cleansed this week by uh, <clears throat> Modelo <laughs> Michelada. I think we've been reviewing that every day since we got it. Good though. Need some need some work beers tomorrow. Let's see. First is a uh, cold-hearted bastard. Two thumbs up and two shots. Then oh, that was on that was on the triple berry. Oh. Then on the peanut buster, he's he's obviously catching up. 
two thumbs up and two more shots. Uh, now uh, on the on the ruby, Poco is first, and he says, "Not it." And Multi Gunman says, "Definitely it." <laughs> then Cold Hearted Bastard says, two thumbs up and two more shots." Jeez, I don't have enough booze for that at this point. J Dog was at work, and Multi Gunman says he's at home. <laughs> And Poco says that opening is wrong. Then Multi Gunman said in all the right ways, and Zeus just laughs because he's the one that's responsible for them. Copy that. Boy, we're going to be ripping through this one tonight. And Zeus, if you hear me say this, there's been requests to have somebody's. Uh, no, don't do it, Zeus. Don't somebody's, even put no, no. somebody's <laughs> face. What? <laughs> Never mind, Zeus. <laughs> you told me I was in a mood. I am in a mood, boy. Well, hopefully this will help. Hopefully. And lobster? Shrimp and lobster legostino. That should be pretty good with uh, bread and garlic butter. <sighs> or we could get some fucking Diablo wings. Their wings at Green Mill are like... You're like, I didn't order a turkey leg. What the fuck is this? Chernobyl chickens? <laughs> yeah, I'll get an order of those too. 25, yeah, spendy. I hope it's good. It's usually around here. It's hit or miss, uh, just like anything. But Green Mill is very hit or fucking miss. So when is, it, they... is it like the same chain as the Green Mill that we have in Duluth? Mm -hmm. I've, I, believe it or not, I've never been there. Don't ever get pizza there. Ever. They like brag about how good their pizza is. That's what I say. They're known for their pizza. Terrible. Oh. It's terrible. But their pastas, their pastas are very good if you enjoy <laughs> pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Caitlin. Hi. Good are thing, you less mad today? Good thing you're not mic'd up. Huh? It's okay. a good thing you're not mic'd up. I oh, had a good day. Over there having bodily functions. I had a pretty lovely day myself. No, no, I didn't. I got no. done at 120. Is that good or bad? I wanted to stay till four. That's bad. I wanted to leave it. I wanted to leave it one twenty. Instead, you just took some uh, happiness and sprawled around on the carpet. See, I'm, I'm thinking a little a combination of white yummies and some work chiladas. And you would get nothing done. I'd be. I'd just be outside humming to myself, painting a deck. That that should have happened today. Yeah. But since how you heard him talk about it, it was raining, raining uh, while we were doing the review. It rained again somewhere around midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and then it rained again after I got there. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about two awkward moments that I've had with Eric. The first one was the first time I met him, and I stayed. The first time I stayed in his house for Shootapalooza. And I had the Star Trek room, I believe, and Eric was in his room, and we both both must have amateur, amateur. I'm gonna show you. Let me show. You. Okay, you got it. You you're a master. Yeah, squirrel. So the first one was we both must have woken up in the morning at the same time in two different rooms and had to pee at the same time. So he opened his door, I opened my door, and I was met with a big ginger furry monster in the hallway. <laughs> Not that, just the, the second one was last night when he was sleeping on the couch. <laughs> that was fun. I was like, should we wake him? Let's poke him with the broom. Poke, poke. I want to poke his belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Your belly was showing. <laughs> That's enough of Eric's awkward moments. Sorry, Eric. I had to, <laughs> I had to air out your laundry. <laughs> That's funny. Why did you sleep last night? Normal. 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 Good. <laughs> I remember the days of Miles feeding you. Oh, so creepy. I still miss those moments. Well, they made me laugh. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm glad you had a fairly decent day. I mean, it was nice to see the sun, right? Yeah, at the end of the frickin' day. Now, mm -hmm. now the weather shows tomorrow to be nice. But we got to give that fucker at least 24, I think. That's yeah. why I said, I think the, the last day you're here, or, well, not last day you're here, but the last good day that you're here, because we don't know how long you're going to be here. Um, then we'll I'm, tackle it like, someday. Like, like I said, all I need to do is let Wendy know I'm not going to make it on Wednesday. Other than that, I have no obligations other than a wife that misses me. Which Bullshit detected! <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, David's going to be pissed. Look how dark this image is. I, I apologize. No, I don't. Hmm. What hmm. can we... Uh, nothing. Hmm. Nothing. There's nothing. I don't see anything that I can put in front of this window except for... Yeah, sock sock puppets. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some wines, some black wines. Yeah. Throwing your hair every twenty years. Yeah. But yeah, it was a quite a fucking day today for me to stay away from everybody. <laughs> yeah. Forget when you it. work alone. It's hard to stay away from everybody being yourself, right? Yeah, I was working with an asshole today. <laughs> okay. Rich Huff says cheers. Cheers, Rich. Cheers, Rich. Poco said, I've got the Gen 2 DJI mics coming. They, they seem to sound good, mount with a magnet, and don't need a dongle uh, with the Action 4 camera. I'm a heavy breather, so sensitive mic would make me punch my monitor during editing. Well, how does the mic sound now? I mean, I didn't get any comments saying, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, there you guys are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, one up. Well, at least he's getting some good mics. Yeah. A multi gunman says I'm early and not caring. So what? Miss Twenty Seven says drink whiskey followed by a beer and then six basement pops from your multi three fifty seven man magnums. Poco, I saw a guy drink a bottle of rubbing alcohol. His organs shut down. Yeah, yeah, and uh, some people can do it. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, Jesus. Poco, when my friend's firstborn child was being born. He was in the emergency room, and the guy sitting next to him was in the emergency room because he tried to light his fart on fire, and it backdraft and burnt everything inside. I bet that made a hell of a sound. <laughs> wow. And out, and out comes the wiffle ball. Well, that must have been one of the moments where he went, boy, I, I knew I fucked up. <laughs> At this and, moment. <laughs> and, and, and at this moment, he realized that he had fucked up. Yeah. How do you explain that in the emergency room? I guess only be truthful. Oh, yeah. I still had one going from yesterday. Yes, you do. Did. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. We're running low. Next what? time, I vote the wine. I wanted to give you a, a gamut of a variety of... Things to ruin your lungs with, other than American I don't, spirit. I don't smoke. I hear you. I don't either. I don't drink much either. Yeah, I, I quit drinking. Especially during the week. Yeah. And before work. And during. <laughs> Me, it's a little tougher at work. <laughs> My boss is a nice guy. Sir, are we practicing sarcasm? <laughs> Practicing, yeah. <laughs> well, I just got rid of a Taurus, so that's good. 
a GL or an SE. 709 Slim, the original ladies gun. And it's for a lady to protect herself. Well, how do you know? Maybe Matt would have wanted that. Well, I'm sure. Fit in his deep ass fucking gaping vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wave at the I, neighbors. Oh, I, I, ser I seriously want a, girl, a girl's gun. Miss Parker's gun. Smith and Wesson. Smith and Smith, Smith and Wesson. It's a Smith and Wesson, dear me. A, yeah. a Smith and Wesson Lady Smith. Yeah, the J Dog gun? His is. No, his doesn't count. Why not? Because his, his is not right in any way oh. to Miss Parker's gun. I don't even know who Miss Parker is. Uh, there was a TV series called The Pretender. Hmm. I'm going to pretend that I knew exactly what you're talking about. And Miss Parker is hot. And she's... Miss Parker's character is played by Andrea Parker. Which I don't know if that was a coincidence or what. Maybe she, they thought she was stupid and wouldn't respond to someone else's name. So they named her character Miss Parker. Yeah. I bet the neighbor... Oh yeah, they are. Those neighbor kids are right now going, Oh my God, pre dons filming a fucking YouTube video in his garage! No, no, it's not that. Oh. No, that neighbor kid really is a pre dawn death. I let him hold my Chris Vector in the driveway and he almost pooped his fucking pants. He goes, I usually on Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, well, this one's not Call of Duty. Cool neighbors. Cool neighbors. Whack. And there goes Dave with his pint of vodka. Let's see Dave. I have a guy that I work with that buys every day. He buys one pint of vodka every day. Now, I don't know if he's... He makes probably $30 an hour working with me. Wouldn't you think you would get a case of pints of vodka? Save the, of, save the trip? Yeah, I mean, you'd think it'd be a... I don't know if it's like a, a a thing to trick your mind that you don't drink as much as you do, but... Yeah, because I don't buy that. I don't buy a lot at the same time. Right. I just only get one a day. Every day he walks in, they already have the fucking pint in their hand, you know? That's like Dave walking into the smoke shop. Yeah, yeah. The two cartons were already... Yeah, the issues... That's crazy. Look at that. I know, it looks like mold. Here, I've seen mold, mold spores. Going, yeah. Well, they are Dollar Tree glasses. Pe Poco says, heck yeah. When I stopped from my uh, house, I purposely shopped for one that had only had fiber optic, but it was a direct connect fiber optic line. Yeah, he dug it up in the front yard and wired in. <laughs> Fiber optic is a little more difficult to wire in. <laughs> I mean, it's fiber optic. Have you ever seen them make fiber optic cables? Mm -mm. You should check that out. It's pretty pretty interesting because it's just long. I think, I uh, can't remember. I know Greg has hit a gas line before. I can't remember if he hit a fiber optic line or not. What happens when you hit a gas line? It hisses. I get it. If it don't start on fire, I suppose you're good. But what do you do then? I, I, call the city? I think he bent it so it would slow down. Yeah, he'd make, make an emergency call and they come right out. In the case of this, where they would normally give you shit, he had called for Gopher. It's something different now. It used yeah. to be Gopher State One. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they marked out everything. They had not marked out that that was there. So at least... He's like, it sucked that it happened, but at least I wasn't going to get some big bill because I it, was his fault, yeah. it wasn't my fault. Yeah, that happens. That'll happen. I know far, some farmers around here that have been running their excavators end up hitting big fucking power lines. <coughs> and then the electricians have to come out and go, what the fuck were you thinking? I ex excavator my favorite moment in time was we had a house sitting on six crib cribs 
made out of railroad ties. We railroad tie, railroad tie, railroad tie, railroad tie, railroad tie yeah. and that. And then when it got up to the, the last little bit, we put a steel plate uh, on top and a, uh, I don't know what, what these things are, 20 ton jack and the, get pressure on that one. And then all the cribs slowly kept bringing it up until we saw a gap yeah. and then knocked the whole basement walls and everything. And our original plan was, is I wanted to be able to drive the skid steer down into the basement and remove the walls, yeah. but we couldn't make the turn because of the, the f it was like the fence and the house and all you could really do is come straight down. So we, we couldn't actually uh, get into the basement with it. What the so fuck? the house is now sitting on six of those yeah. big two story house. And uh, Greg should have done this, but he did this with the arm and it hit and everything jiggled. And I see him in there obviously trying to recall the poop that's now left his ass. Yeah. And, and I was in the, I was in the other, uh, the other digger because uh, we, we, we borrowed a, a skid steer with the uh, jackhammer. So I was, we still had to, we, so we dug out all around the basement. So I had to drive the tires right to the very edge so that the, it would reach. So that the uh, hammer, hammer could, uh, could reach. And I, I watched this thing jiggle and I, I looked over at him and he's just like going. <laughs> well, I wonder what that costs. Jack in a house and doing the fucking, man, that must be a, Half from, I don't know what it would cost. Hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, fifty thousand to do a job like that. Well, so if you said that your basement's fucked, the walls are fucked, I need you to come over, and jack my house up, and fucking dig the fucking basement out. I mean, digging a tile, a sewage tile, and a guy in is twenty thousand. Well, considering it was me and Greg that did it, Jack got a hell of a deal. Now, if that would have been a bid job. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Or even think about, I kept, how easily, like, the house, like, looked like it moved when he hit it with the, with the arm of the digger. And then, then that, that next night, we had some of the highest winds in Duluth. And I was just like, when I get to work the next day, I was just like, Still happy to see that the house hadn't fallen yeah. over. Can you imagine that? Oh, I'll come to work and it's just fucking off one side and I, the down the basement. I think the only option you need to have is just to demolish it. Everything, yeah. There's no way you save it at that moment in time. Borrow the killdozer. <laughs> just fucking. Yeah. Uh, Poco again. I'm replying a lot. It's like we're having a conversation that you get uh, for posting a video during pork chop night. <laughs> Rich says the lime chilada is pretty good, but I like the one with the tomato in it better. They have lime chilada at the liquor store next to the Modelo. Apparently somebody cleaned out the fucking regular chilada. At the liquor store, they didn't have any more. I don't know who's been buying all that shit, but. I bought two packs. Zeus says not it. Well, you know, it makes a. Oh, never mind. It makes a good accompaniment. A company, a coutrement. A good accoutrement to the coutries of the coutrementness. Well, we got. Um, reading a comment. <laughs> I was hoping. I want to get the fuck out of here. Smile when he said Bud Light hired that female, but doubled down literally on uh, why they did it. Then they lied, saying that uh, just did one special can as the stock price tumbled. They realized they needed to rethink the bull crap. So did they learn their lesson? I'm all about second chances. Then again, I will let you drink it and see how it changes you, Erica. Dan, <laughs> Dan says, well, they double down on the social media saying they, they don't want the old customers in that case. Well, I know that's what that bitch said. When you've got, a, when you've got someone in your company saying, we just need, we just need a newer uh, clientele. Yeah. What? 
customer base. Why do you, how, I don't know how that's a possibility when you're talking about something like beer. You just want everybody to buy your product. It's kind of like my bitch about YouTube. YouTube is a bunch of fucking cunts, and if you uh, say Trump won and I'm not going to get the uh, arm ticket, uh, especially if you, uh, if you show that you're a, a, pro, a pro-Trump, a conservative, then they, then they want to uh, shadow ban you and do this, that, and the other thing. And I swear, I swear on a stack of whatever you want it to be, Bibles, uh, gun manuals, if I own YouTube and you are a super conservative and you are a super liberal and you each have channels, why do I give a fuck what you say yeah. because you're getting you're getting AdSense and you're getting commercials and she's and, getting, and she's getting AdSense and commercials and I'm making a shit ton of money and all of a sudden you start you know the, the potential I just I, I just cap, ca- can't help but wonder where things could have been for the Ebomi channel you know Pete went from when I first met Pete I think he had like 50,000 subs and then he you know, got over a hundred thousand. I don't know where he stands now, but it was that one day where Pete co- literally called me and goes, "What the fuck happened over the weekend?" Because Pete is like a Jew, even though he's an Italian, and he literally goes in and was f- following his money. That's why yeah. he kept telling me, "Just do a video every day, even yeah. if you just sit down." And see now, I, in retrospect, I was wondering what the hell could I have done on the Ebomi channel? But I could have done anything. We could have talked about a gun, had a beer. I don't really give a shit about the fucking the oh. pussies uh, out there that are like, oh my god, he's got guns and alcohol in the same video. Yeah. Either grow a set of fucking balls, or if you need to, use me as an example to your kids. Now kids, let's not be this guy. But I just, I just think the decisions that YouTube ma- made, uh, how much how much more in the market share would they be today if they never got, if they never kissed the ass of the FBI and the Biden administration? I was going to say that, um, do, 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 do. elevator music. Um, I, I, I don't think it is YouTube. I think it goes much further than that. You know, like when they were burning books to keep people from learning knowledge and, you know, they don't got to burn the books, they just got, yeah, it's, uh, I think they're very influenced by government. And you could call me a conspiracy theorist, but just look at history. Everybody goes, well, you can repeat history. Yeah, look at history. They controlled the flow of information. So what's the flow of information now? Media. They control the flow of media, what's said, what's not said, and, I mean, do you see that, or no? No, or, no, no, I... I mean, they have to, so you don't think Google's in the pocket of the go- of somebody, the government? I don't care who you think the government is. Oh boy, we got some action. <laughs> nah, it's just an ambulance. Uh huh. So, I think that everybody's being stifled by. I don't care if you think it's BlackRock or I don't care whoever you think it is that people run the run the whole show. I think. Did you get your hands on my nuts? Those are my nuts. Mm hmm. <laughs> Just don't lick the ones in the middle. I'm gonna eat those later. I already got the middle. Whole cashews. Lies! <laughs> <laughs> They're not diced cashews. I love cashews. Damn. And I love being controlled by YouTube, my overlord. Mm-hmm. Uh, Poco. The black American flag means no prisoners will be taken. Probably going to be very appropriate in the upcoming months. I'm glad you made that comment, Poco, because... Just like everybody, everybody hates this, hate that. Well, it has a meaning, you know. And once again, American Resistance. If you don't know about American Resistance gear, check out their Instagram, check out their YouTube channel. I'm actually, That's that flag? 
And that one, yep. The black flag is the American Resistance gear flag. Michael, as I like to refer to. What about to. this one? No, it's just the end one and that one. So, AR, American Resistance gear. Okay, so not what you'd originally think, an AR-15, American Resistance. Yeah, right. Good company. They are... He actually did, he just went viral for making the Joker AR-15, where he painted the, an AR pistol as the Joker, where, you know, they have the skull AR lowers, and he painted the Joker's face with the, with the scars up both sides of the receiver. Just fucking amazing work. If you're in around uh, East Texas, American Resistance Gear, Michael, he is the guy. He has a really nice range. He has a really nice shop. And he runs classes. And he gives merch out. So and if I just type American Resistance in a Google search, I'll find... American Resistance Gear. Gear, okay. And he, uh, actually on my YouTube channel, is a tour of his shop. And it's a very, very cool shop. They have... A lot of specialty things and anything that you want done as far as coatings go he takes his shit to the next level where they use five different colors and they coat them in-house and bake them in-house very cool very cool guy see that's something I have not done but I've kind of wanted to yeah like rattle can uh like the East Texas Outlaws ink uh FEG or whatever. Was that uh, a Cerakote no. product? Just regular. Rattle can. Just, just rattle canned it? Yeah, he took a netting, some netting with holes in it. Yeah, well, it, it looked sharp. Laid it over the top and just sprayed it. And he did a damn good job. But, yeah, black flag. Thanks, Pogo. Smile money. I don't remember how you pronounced it. Adachrome? Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome. Uh, whip it nitrous oxide. At least Jeremy draws the line at drinking hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say that I do all that stuff. I just do the adrenochrome and maybe some hand sanitizer. My own money. I bought two Ryobi string trimmers and an auger and two uh, backpacks with three batteries in them for use uh, for uh conservation planting trails they work well he told me that he bought them but he didn't tell us how great they are yeah they're gone now matt davis that's from fear and loathing in las vegas it is it is that's actually right there right there it is it's one of my favorite movies of all time johnny depp I'm not sure I've seen it. With Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, either you love it or you hate it. But the first time I watched it, I hated it. The second time, I fell in love. And then, no, we're not doing that shit. Ah, oh. Five second rule. But a as you watch it more... Okay, I give. As you watch it more, the meanings and different things come more to light. It's kind of a, a, a Easter egg kind of movie. You hear things and see things. And... But yeah, that's what it's from. But also behind the Adrenochrome, if you search Adrenochrome, it, tell, it, it, it makes you younger, it makes you live longer. And with the Epstein Island thing, and Hillary being there, and kids being there, and oh, it's a weird thing. Oh, I thought you were going to throw it in my mouth. Oh, boy. Eric's going to throw it in her mouth. <laughs> Just throw it in one cheek or the other. She prefers this side, like her right cheek. When you bend it over. Anyway. Yeah, adrenochrome. Good stuff. Not for novices. Take a tiny Din taste. says, never give up, never surrender. Take another shot. We haven't even taken one yet, but we will. Din says the whippet cans are for making your own whipped cream. Or you can inhale them. Charge stuff with it like seltzer water, but instead it's uh, nitrogen instead of uh, CO2. Yeah. Like I told E, could, ha could
could make him up a mini keg of nitro bamboo. <laughs> Nitrous oxide. Mr. 27 says 26th. Then he says, no naked salty man. Then he says, oh, not in the basement again, lame. <laughs> then Cobra says, the big flag is cool. Thanks, yes, Cobra. Yes, it is. Oh, well, I gave him credit. The most awesome flag that I have in my collection was from him. Yeah. I'll tell you the story about that flag off camera. The downside is, it was a gift from Cobra. I know it wasn't cheap, and I hate putting it out a lot because we've had flags stolen. Mm -hmm. A really, really, really nice cloth Canadian flag. Those are cool. Because Christine identifies. That's Canadian. Mm hmm. That's because she was an army brat. People, gun guy. If you hang out with chickens, you're going to cluck. And if you hang out with eagles, you're going to fly. Or you're going to fall out of a tree. Take your pick. <laughs> Wade says uh, adrenochrome, as described in. A clockwork orange? Question mark. Sometimes used as holistic medicine practices as a treatment for schizophrenia, or the stories of Satan use or satanic Satanist using it. Yeah. Wait again. I also called out for a possible diabetic patient that was uh, unresponsive. He was in someone's driveway with, uh, with his foot on his car's brake. PD had turned the car off but could not wake him. When I, uh, when I stuck him in the head, stuck my head in the car, I almost gagged from the smell of the cheap aftershave. There were dozens of empty bottles in the back seat. Oh, Jesus God. I pulled my uh, center, center punch and got a vigorous chest rub. He woke up and started cursing as he uh, passed out from uh, drinking the aftershave. Wow, Ooh. holy cow. Wade, that is a, that is a story. Wade, Wade was a first responder. Yeah. Paramedic for a long time. Well, you, you, you think about aftershave versus the cheapest vodka you can buy. Aftershave is a little more expensive. Unless you're stealing it, there's no excuse for not just buying cheap alcohol. Yeah. Or, well, I imagine aftershave is easier to steal than from a liquor store. Vodka, you know. I guess you're right. You're right. Well, thank you, Wade, for your service. Saving lives and seeing some unbelievable shit. I know some first responders that have told me stories. Charleston says, it looks like a good time. Mm -hmm. Then he says, we need cowbell. I'm sorry, Charleston. Then he says, they do make a side folder for a 1022 that looks just like the Mini 14. Mm -hmm. I had one. Then Charleston wants to know, I'm assuming he's directing this at you, what you think of Sky Vodka. It's Okay. But I think Sky is a little more expensive than Pinnacle. I'm not sure, but I've had Sky Vodka before, and it's okay. That's good. And everybody goes, there's no difference between this vodka and that. There is. I don't oh, care who you yeah. are. I don't care who you are. There's definitely a difference. My buddy, my fishing partner that has now passed, uh, used to drink Phillips. And that Phillips is just, oh man, I couldn't Phillips stand is it. Phillips is kind of harsh. It's very harsh. It's got that rubbing alcohol taste, you know. We have to eat dinner. I know. This that's is why, my dinner. That's why I'm putting it by you. I don't want these anymore. Yeah, me neither. Jolson, I have almost all DeWalt stuff because it was a gifted 
a DeWalt drill combo for Christmas one year. Access R already had batteries. At that point, I might as well stick with it. And that's why I truly think, no matter how shitty or great some cordless stuff is, you get in it's too deep to do yeah. anything but defend the stuff. Right. But the weak, I don't, see, I don't, I don't, see, here, again, not to just pick on uh, Milwaukee stuff, but I, I watched Greg have an impact fail after three months of use. Then he had a drill fail after less than a year. Then that one came back after it took, it took them almost, almost eight months. Man. And I'm like, that's just bullshit that if you're a bullshit. contractor. Then he got that one back, and two weeks later, that one started to fuck up. So in all my time of using Makita stuff, I've never had anything fail. I just ba batteries eventually. See, I like the right. new batteries, the five, the five amp hour. They yeah. also have the where you can press a button and mm -hmm. see what's left. Yeah, that's what was cool about. Even though Craftsman was kind of shitty stuff, if you were doing low end kind of things, but if you had a Sears in your area and you took a Craftsman drill and used it and it exploded or burnt up, you just go, "I'll be right back," and then you walk down <laughs> the fucking Sears, a brand new one, and get a brand new one. And, they, and it was replacement no matter what, but. Yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm not deep enough yet where I won't just go, eh, fuck it, and then go into some other shit. But Yeah, but that's you. Yeah, I hear you. You don't seem to really honestly have a loyalty to anything. Yeah. And no matter how much you're invested in it, if it pisses you off, it's gone. you're like David. You'll fucking burn that bridge as fast as it could possibly go up. Yeah. I, the, the only thing is the Ryobi drill. The hand drill, I don't know, it, it, it fucking sucks. Not the battery life, not the clutch, not any of that stuff. The, um, the, the chuck in the drill just fucking blows for everything. I don't care if you put a, a hex drive or if you put a it keeps square loosening. drive, it just loosens. And, I mean, you, you try to use like an eighth inch drill bit on some shit, and you're not even like, Meh! You're just kind of giving it a little fucking where, snuggie. Where, where is that drill? On top of my gun safe. In my, the... Show it to me. Because I watched a TikTok video, and supposedly all cordless stuff, if you tighten it and then roll it back, you'll hear it click, and that supposedly locks the chuck. And the guy said it was a universal thing. Huh. I, but I've used it so at our workplace... All I've ever used is DeWalt cordless four inches, four inch grinders, DeWalt hammer drills, DeWalt saws, everything. And I have never had a, I haven't very often had a problem with DeWalt chucks or, I've even taken DeWalt drills where the chucks were bad and I've done something that you're not supposed to do, but if it's bad, it's bad. Open up a vise, put the bit in, and get it tight, and then put the fucking chuck in, yeah, in the vise and just go, and that's good. See, now in defense of DeWalt, I know for, a, I know for a fucking fact that if you went to uh, the tool crib and bought DeWalt, a DeWalt drill, yeah. and you went to uh, Menards, when they sold them, they don't anymore, yeah. when, and they sold it, I believe there's a whole line of do-it-yourselfer versions, yeah. but if you actually buy it from a tool dealer, it's like a contractor you're, version. You're getting a, a, a completely different. Yeah. And you look up those models, and you'll see like six <coughs> drills that all look identical. And they all have a different different model number, but uh, to me, uh, I've always always made my purchases from the tool crib in Duluth. And yeah. not from like a hardware store or somewhere like that because I, I, I believe it really it really makes a difference. But boy, I like I said, I, I I have never I still I still have every original Makita tool I ever bought 
And as of right now, I have, I have not even retired a battery. The problem is, I can tell you with my, my Milwaukee stuff, that it may not be the battery that's the problem. I'm the problem. My Makita stuff used to get used every single day, except for Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. And to, to not use a battery is what kills it. Right. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Ryobi is a Home Depot thing. And I actually looked at it. I was like, okay, I'm either going, I'm going yellow or I'm going orange or green. What? No time. There's no timer? Uh, well, there is. I just didn't put it on there. Oh, okay. came, but hey, hey, listen, bitch. But I didn't like the DeWalt weed whackers and that shit. They seem to be. Keep talking so, about lobster. No. So to get one like that with a lot nice, it, the DeWalt one, you're like, oh, this is the tits. And then you pick it up and you're like, Jesus, what the fuck? Whereas Ryobi has the carbon fiber shaft, you know, the it. but then you put the five amp hour battery on it, but it balances it. So when you're using it, it, it balances it nice. But anyway, okay, go, fire away, shrimp and lobster. I want, I want to get the Ego to go along with my mower. Yeah. And again, I am not ever going to stand here and endorse battery over gas but with the size of my yard yeah and it's like my yard I, I don't even need half that shit <laughs> jolson we have a lot of electric uh, yard tools uh weed whipper push mower chainsaw leaf blower all of them work great i feel like uh for a homeowner your your best option because you don't use them as often as landscaping companies would Hey, the guy that the guy that was hired to uh, do the uh, yard maintenance for the spook house, uh, everything including his zero turn ride, rider, yeah. e all that shit was battery powered. Nice, uh, Jolson at the farm where Jeremy hasn't been yet. Just kidding. We Love we only farms. use uh, DSL. It's better than dial up in town at. Uh, at Teresa and uh, and ICE, we have uh, cable internet. They just ran fiber optic, but why uh, change what we have if it works for our needs? Right. Jolson's so sound levels are good. Well, there. Thank Fi you. Finally. Five is the trick. <laughs> uh, salty, I expect nakedness for everyone. And Mr. 27 says, why? Cole heard a bastard on the oh on my, on my uh q spectacular bloody mary thing has two thumbs up and two <laughs> shots tom says greetings patriots hold on do you want to order yeah so just order shrimp and lobster and then get a uh order of diablo wings Bonus. yeah and then i'll uh She's got to drive and get it. Cheers, all. Thanks, Eric. Cheers, you fucker. Why did you wait? There's another shot for Caitlin, right? Probably. Yeah, there's one. Well, my shot's right there. He was about to take that shit. No, but she's got to go get it. it. Go. If I hear the word lobster one more time. Extra bread and butter? No. 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 Fuck Eric. No. Oh. Well, jeez. <sighs> fucking sixty fucking dollars down the sh no, I'm just kidding. Alright, well, cheers all since Eric's a prick. Fuck you. Fuck off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here, bro. Bro. Oh. What do you think of the tequila? You, you, I don't think you've ever had that, have you? Um, no, it's good. It is. It's. Uh, I like it with lime and salt, or lemon and salt even. I like lemon better than lime. Yeah. 
Yeah, you and me were on a tequila kick there for a while. You'd send me pictures of shots, and then I'd send you pictures of shots and that fucking 12 gauge up there. And <clears throat> I still got some. I don't know what you. I don't know what you're talking about. Me either. Either. Okay, we're in the we're in the home stretch. We've rounded third, and we're heading to home. Jolson says my range at the farm, where Jeremy's never been. Uh, you can have unlimited guests. Laugh out loud. Smile money sub comment. Can you drive down to a thousand yards uh, to install the targets? Is the shooting position at least shaded? Eric has lots of requirements to bring his uh, show on the road. Oh, what bloody Marys will you be? Will you be <laughs> serve? We only had one so far. But the chilada works. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have no problems. <laughs> kind of, kind of digging it actually. It gives you that good salty tomato juice flavor. I mean, it's got to be nutritious. <laughs> uh, I know. Mister Twenty Seven says comments deleted. Hmm. He lost some comments. Smile when he says, "Eric, you should show us a photograph of the progress being made on the deck." No. No. That's my money. YouTube deleted my research on adrenochrome. Let's just say pizza. Oh, man. Gate is one of the conspiracy theories. Pizza Gate. Sharky, SH, nurse, help me. The ending girl. Uh, then Bad says, Greetings, Captain. Greetings, Bad. Then he says, uh, "Not a very good, not a very good head on that beer." I know he likes good head. Hmm. Um, then he says, "Jeremy should put a link to his camera and mic setup." To how? See you, you fuckers! No, you people get away with putting links in the YouTube comments. Every time I put a link to the videos in the comments, it gets deleted. It is gone. By the time I drop the link, I watch it leave. So um, maybe tomorrow, uh, <coughs> maybe tomorrow, I'll show you the box. But if I leave it, they shouldn't delete mine. Yeah. I don't know what this is. This is. I could a, make it a pinned comment. You could. I don't know what camera this is. This, but what I like about it, for all you videographers, the Zeiss lenses are where it's at, and that's a Zeiss lens. So this is a so is this. Zeiss, yeah. So this is a Sony Handycam FDR dash AX thirty three. Oh, I thought it actually said it, but it doesn't. One of those is the Zeiss. So it's a very nice camera, and if I was to set it up right, you wouldn't get this whole washout. But I don't, I don't have time for shit. So I'll get the the mics out tomorrow and show you the box. They're, they're. I don't care what anybody says. They're really high quality mics. Your package was delivered. Oh, it's a picture of your house. It's a big box because it's another, like, I can't remember the. Uh, it's got a monkey. Congo? It's like a pelican case. You ordered a pelican case, kind of? Well, it's a battle box. Oh. That's one of the items. Oh. You're going to be bummed, man. You know what would be great? Is if I had the box <laughs> here right now. And I was like, standing and, here like this the whole time. <laughs> it's a fucking battle box. Shooting holes in every item. See, I'm not going to give up showing it on that channel because I like... Because I, I give it immediate feedback on what I think. Have I ever asked you to change your channel? No, you've told me that you hate when I do that. So I've tried to abbreviate, no. abbreviate when no. I show the... No, that's not exactly how it went. Exactly how it went. I don't like the videos that you do on the box. If it's in the brewery view, I'm okay with that. The oh. videos with the pictures, I just don't, I don't get into that shit. I, I don't. I, I put, get into shooting I, videos. I put, I put good music. I don't fucking care. I've never seen one. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by the views. That's why I always like, 
my God, they're sending me another box. I get work. I work. I'm working for them for another month. Flashlight videos. So the only reason I got this is because you showed it to me in a brew review. I, I do like. Did that. I? Okay. Did I go online and search? Let me watch the brightness and the fucking. Thr no, I didn't. I did not. <laughs> so it's not just you, Eric. I will not watch flashlight reviews, including my own. And we did one. But. I liked it. I said so in a brew review. And I bought it. Are you disappointed with no, it? No, no. Yes, very highly. It's not waterproof. I hate it. So, yeah, yeah. It fucking didn't work. It says uh, waterproof up to like 30 meters. So I was like, okay, I got a five gallon bucket of water. I turned it on, dropped it in the water, and, and it, went, it went. And then I pulled it out and I saw water behind the screen and I went, fuck. Put it in front of a hair dryer, and I dried it out, and it works. But yeah, I did a video. Oh, I did a video for that. <laughs> for the Brin Knight, the or the the Scorpion, mm. and my video was scary, and it was cool hunting down monsters in the woods and shit. And then it turns out it was just cuz. Fucking a donkey or something behind a tree. I, I like that Brin Knight scorpion so much that that's what's on. That's on Alice. Yeah. That's what's on my go to war gun that's in the gun room. Plus, I, plus they also, I still have the prototype. I like the functions on the prototype more than the end result. I don't like this fucking lock. I hate that. And lock. I don't give a shit about strobe. Yeah. That's, I want that, on and that's, off. That's just, yeah, just press a fucking button and it comes on. David J. fucking Brown, you kids look great, but I need you to come home. I, I want to do a three-way brew review with Matt. I want to break his heart on the camera. Nighthap rules, Matt drools. Hmm. I, I could expand on that. Actually, you know the rest of the story, but I'll skip that here. What? I get da it. David J. I fucking Brown. David again. Eric, your child bride and Bunky are going out for a fine dinner, Grandma's, while I have to sit at home and eat used pizza. <laughs> used pizza. Mike says cheers. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, Mike. And then Mike says, hell, I'm 55, so fuck it. That was the last one. Good. Is this like a scroll? Nope, just four people. But beforehand, you went first last night. I think I'll give it a seven flat. I, you taste vanilla. I don't taste all that much vanilla, like the peanut butter porter. It's just in the aftertaste. Right, but the peanut butter porter, it was long after I had drank it. I could still taste that distinct peanut butter flavor. And maybe it's not because, or it's because vanilla is not so prominent. But the vanilla, as soon as I drink this, I feel, I feel, I taste a little bit of vanilla on my tongue and that's gone. I mean, there is no enjoyable, I guess if you were riding around on your lawnmower wanting to drink 5% porters, fine, drink 5% porters, but that's not really all that good. It's, it, I expected a lot Drecker or a, I'm not, I always use Drecker as a, a baseline, but I expect if it says vanilla, I expect to taste vanilla. But kind of like the uh, bent paddle, the the big bottle oh, that man. comes out every yes. year. You that shit. you get it was nothing. when it says vanilla. It's like you get all of that. Right. My my number on this, by the way, is a six, and it's light on flavor from start to finish. Yeah, and I only get a little a little hint of that vanilla. Yeah. Right. Right. Caitlin's going to get dinner. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, we're hi. Are I want to take a shot. I'm gonna stand here and talk to you guys for a minute. Look at all the gray that's in my beard. Holy cow! Mm. Yeah, these are wood tip, by the way. <coughs> Very. Hey, what? <laughs> Eric, what are you doing to my girlfriend back there? Jeez, don't know. That's not, that is not acceptable. You said wood tip. 
<laughs> he said it would tip. Okay, we've given it, given it a score. Okay, home stretch. Rich, Rich says cheers, Read clubbers. Them small, like this. Cheers, clubbers. I love you. Rich says cheers, clubbers. Salty says double nakedness makes the world go around. Bad says hi, clubbers. Bad. Hi, bad. And smile money says cheers, clubbers. Cheers. And if the if the thing's green, it's, it's probably uh, green. At least it's connected. Then I have to unconnect it, connect it back to the house, and go edit this. So, okay. We Doof. will we will see you tomorrow? Yes. Yes. <laughs>